Hey yo, this crazy talk, I'm crazy. Well, really not really, but I got some news you can use. I'm out here with my boys, you see them? You see my boys out here, my energy vampires, the lost boys, protecting me from bad energy, you did. But today I saw a post um, about a Nintendo game, right? The old Nintendo game, Duck Hunt. You know Duck Hunt. You know, the bird, the duck fly across and then you shoot the duck. But did you know that if you use the second controller, you can control the duck, how it flies and, and when it goes up and everything. You probably didn't know that. Why you didn't know that? Because you didn't take the time to read the instructions, the manual. But it say right there, because you only grab the gun and you be shooting. You be waiting for the duck to come up and then you shoot it. But you didn't know that you can control the duck or somebody else can control the duck with the other controller. And you're probably like... Why is that important? That's not no news I can use. <laughs> Calm down. I'm going to tell you. That's important because our brain is like a super powerful instrument. It's a super powerful machine. It's a computer. And it doesn't come with the instructions. It doesn't come with manual. So it's a lot of things that you may be able to do with your brain that you don't know that you can do. And that's what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about telepathy. You dig? Telepathy is um, instantaneous communication between two beings through the transmission of thoughts via mind linking. So like being able to communicate with somebody that's not with you, you like being able to send someone a message from all the way across the city or across the town, across the country, wherever. You can do that. And I'm about to show you, I'm about to tell you some, some a couple of a few experiences I had just recently and then at the end of the video, if you stay tuned and watch the whole video, I'm going to tell you a secret, tell you my secret, what I've been doing to try to make this happen. I tried three times in the last month or the last few weeks. I tried three, this method three times and it's worked every time. It worked different ways, but I'm going to just explain, explain a couple and then we're going to go from there. And I want you to leave some comments down here, like this video if it resonates with you and if you have dealt with some of this i know you have dealt with we all have dealt with this because excuse me we are all a part of this simulation we all part of the matrix so we all connected we all have felt this before if you ever thought about somebody and they called you or you was about to text somebody and they text you or you dreamt about somebody and, and then you happen to see them the next day you know like how do how do these things happen i'm gonna tell you a couple of um experiences first we're gonna start off with um my mama mia situation that i talked about in my synchronous these videos if you saw that one i'm gonna link that one up there but i'm gonna explain it again so that you can see what happened and how this worked for me okay so if you don't know who steve white is that's my cousin my first cousin we we really close my first synchronistic experience was with him when i was younger when i was about to go to his crib and and I didn't know. This is way when we was young. We was younger. He didn't know I was at my dad's crib. I didn't know where he was at. But we was walking to each other's house at the same time to see if we was there. And I just thought that was crazy. But recently, I was hungry. I wanted to go to Mama Mia's. That's a restaurant here in my mom in, in Milwaukee. I wanted to go there, and I wanted some uh, some lasagna. And I was gonna bring Steve some. Actually, I was going. I was thinking like, should I take it with me? Who should I call? Should I call a female? But I was like, I'm going to just go by myself. And then when I get there, I'm, I know what Steve wants. I'm going to get him this, have me a nice Long Island, and then take it back to him. And then later that day, I was on this girl profile who said something about her, her zodiac sign was was uh, lasagna and garlic bread. And that reminded me, oh, yeah, you wanted lasagna. Go ahead and get your. I thought that was weird already, but we ain't talking about that. So then I, I Googled Mama Mia's to see what time it was open. While I'm Googling it, um, you know, Steve texted me right then and said, hey, should we go to Mama Mia's? At the same time where I'm Googling it, we've never been to Mama Mia's before, ever. Yeah, I think there's only one here in Milwaukee. But um, so that's that's the first experience. And then, you know, after I, after that happened, it got me like, you know, real curious about how things like that work. So then I want to try it out for myself. So then... I thought about somebody else who 
is close to me, but we don't talk. You know, somebody who I didn't want to be like, hey, I'm going to have somebody text me who always texts me because that, you know, that don't work. If somebody always texts you and then you be like, I'm going to try to make this person text me, you know, that you're not really going to know if it's really working. Though. So I, I, I contacted somebody that why well, I, I tried to make somebody contact me who I haven't talked to in a long time or seen in a long time. I actually got this girl blocked on my phone. So I, don't, I, I forgot I even had her blocked. So even with her being blocked on my phone, she was still able to, I'm going to tell you. So I thought about this girl and then I was like, I'm going to make her text me in about two days or contact me. I said contact me. I'm going to make her contact me in two days. And then the very next day, she flew to my city and hit me on Instagram and said, hey, I'm in your town. I want to see you if you available. And I thought, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow, that's that's really weird. But then also, I'm not sure if I made her contact me or if she used telepathy and made me contact her because she came to this city and I'm, I'm sure when she thought about coming here, she probably was like, oh, I want to see Cray. I'm going to hit up Cray. I wonder if he's going to let me see him. And this girl is <laughs> obsessed with me. You dig what I'm saying? She got, I ain't going to, never mind. But she's one of the tatted individuals. I think she might got my name on her like two or three times. But anyway, she was like, um, can I see you? And um, for that to happen the very next day, like, I think that uh, maybe she might have thought about me first. You know what I'm saying? Like, like she may have thought, like, been sending out the energy for me to text her, for me to think about her. So I don't know how that, you know, who did what, but that definitely worked. And then the third, the third experience is like, okay, I saw that one work. So then like a couple of days later, I'm like, I'm going to try to make somebody else contact me, somebody else that I haven't been talking to and see will this work. And so I wrote it down. I'm going to make this person contact me within a day or two. And then I promise you, the very next day, I was on Facebook and this person showed up in my people you should know. Um, you know, the people you should know suggestions. She was right there. And I thought that was just super weird because I never I didn't even know she had a Facebook because we follow she, we don't even follow each other on Instagram. I didn't know she had a Facebook and she just popped up in my suggestions. People you should know. But I didn't contact her, and I was like, okay, that's just a sign. She's gonna catch, she's gonna, she's gonna contact me. And then I was like, damn, we're going crazy the next day, no pun intended. But like the next day, I'm like, all right, that happened. It's, it's, it's gotta, you know what I'm saying? She's gonna have to text me because that was too wild. So the next day, at like three o'clock when I woke up, I saw that she had liked my photo on Instagram. But I said, we're not even following each other. But she yeah, went at three, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And she liked my photo. And I'm like, wow. You know what I'm saying? First, she's on my suggestions feed. And then the second day, she liked my photo. And I'm like, man, she, gonna, she definitely going to contact me. So that day, I was going crazy just staring at my phone. Like, she's going to text me. She's going to text me. But she didn't text me. And I was a little bit frustrated thinking, like, man, this girl is going to text me. I know it's going to work. So then... What I did was, I sent her the little eye emojis, you know what I'm saying? The big eye emoji, like mine. I sent her them emojis, and then immediately she said, I've been thinking about you, you must could feel it. And I was like, uh, have you, or really, or something like that? I forgot what I said, but she was like, yeah. And I was like, well, why you didn't let me know? She's like, well, I don't know, but I really been thinking about you. That's why I liked your photos, you know, that's why, you know. I just didn't I just didn't reach out to you so those three experiences that happen and so the last one is like if, if you've been thinking about somebody how do you know that they're not thinking about you like you could be thinking about somebody right now but unless you reach out to them to see if they're thinking about you which we not we're not gonna do you don't know if that works or not like it's not likely for you to call somebody and be like hey was you thinking about me hey was you just thinking about me you know that's a little narcissistic and they might be they might even not even tell you the truth so that's why i didn't reach out to her like have you been thinking about me i just put the eyes eye emojis and then she hit me asap like 
because I didn't want her to, to know. I didn't want to text her and be like, have you been thinking about me? And then she just tried to run some game on me and tell me, yeah, I've been thinking about you. But so I just put the eye emojis just to see what her response was. So those are three experiences that just happened to me really recently. I've only tried it three times and it's worked every time. I'm almost kind of scared to try. I wouldn't say scared, but hesitant to try it because I'm so perfect. I'm, I'm three out of three for this. So I don't want to ruin my record. So what I want you to do, what I want y'all to do is try what I'm about to tell you. And if it worked, leave it in the comments. You know what I'm saying? If any of this stuff work with y'all, if it, if, if it resonate with y'all, because I'm not a scientist and I'm not going to conduct no studies. Actually, this is my study. You know, you can call me Dr. Craig, the scientist. And this is my study. And we're going to conduct it right here and leave it in the comments. So the things I'm going to tell y'all to do, do them. And if it work, let me know that they work. Okay. So this is how I use telepathy to send messages to people to get them to contact me. And this is how you can do it too. But first of all, you got to know that I'm on my 56th day of semen retention. Meaning, I hope this ain't got nothing to do with it because this ain't going to go for on for too much longer. But like, like how, do, how do we know that if we retain our seed that you will have superpowers like telepathy? We, we don't know that because if someone was, did a study and see if people had telepathy... I bet you they didn't they didn't ask these people, okay, when was the last time you busted a nut? They didn't ask that. So, you know what I'm saying? Or they didn't say, if you drink tea on a Wednesday, is today Wednesday? Yeah, if you drink tea on a Wednesday, the next day you will have telepathic powers. You know what I'm saying? We don't know how this works. It's just like the Nintendo game, the duck hunt game. We don't have an instruction manual for our brain. You know what I mean? We didn't come with that. So how do we know how to use it the right way? You know? So these are the things that you're going to do. Also, uh, that's what I was going to say. If it worked for me and it don't work for you, you also have to think about like if this is, is a superpower, think about X-Men or, or Mortal Kombat or something like that. Like everybody wouldn't have the same superpowers. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to a, a close friend of mine the other day. And if you're watching this, and I know you're probably going to watch this, I want to let you know that my heart is with you. I know you're going through something, but it's gonna be okay and if anybody is going through something just know if you watching this it's gonna be okay okay if you was ever looking for a sign or looking for something i'm right here telling you everything gonna be all right but she was talking about how she had these dreams that you know what i'm saying when she was telling me about these dreams i first first i was like nah she gotta be lying because her her dreams were so detailed and i'm like I don't have dreams like that. You know what I'm saying? So she, she got to be telling the story. That was my ego talking. And then it snapped right there. And I'm like, you know, you know, since I had the spiritual awakening, I'm knowing that, you know what I'm saying? People's experiences are people's experiences. Just because somebody goes through something, that don't mean you will experience the same thing that they did. So, you know, that could be her superpower because she have these vivid dreams. And then like the next day or, or soon after that, these things come into play, into fruition for her. So, so like that could be her superpower because I don't dream like that. I can't remember my dreams like that. But I have stopped smoking um, two day, three days ago. So, you know, maybe that might you know increase those powers for me. But anyways, we may have all have different type of superpowers. So if this works for me, it may not work for some people. But I'm gonna tell you what you gotta do. All right. All right, first, what should we gotta do first? You probably have to, when, you, when you're when doing this, it, it should be with somebody that you gotta a bond with, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who you vibing off the same frequency with. Somebody who's close to you. Like I said, me and Steve is really close. Like, we really close. And um, and these girls that I'm talking about that I use this song, like I said, there's one girl, she got my name on her a few times, and then this other girl, I mean, these, I mean, hey, I'm not going. I don't want to put them out there like that, but they crazy over me. So, like, you got to pick somebody that you're going to have a bond with, somebody that, you know, you vibing with. Some people call it a, a, um, a twin flame, a soul flame, something like that, soul ties or twin flame. We're going we to get too deep into that, but just somebody that you got to bond with, somebody that you're close with, and you got to, the first step 
So that is the first step. And then the second step, you gotta really have good intention and know that this is what you wanna do. Like if you send a text message, which I don't know why they don't have this now. People at Apple, we should be able to send a text message and then if we don't want to be able to unsend it you know just like on facebook or instagram or snapchat when you send something and you don't want it there you can erase that but on text messages you can't do that like you know i'm, saying? I'm sure y'all done sent some messages that you have wanted to delete or wish you didn't send that so Telepathy is just like that. Once you send this message out to somebody, you can't unsend it. You can't be like, oh, I wish this person to contact me tomorrow. Then they get this message and start thinking about you and then be like, ah, you know what? Nah, I don't want that to happen because they don't already got it. So make sure this is what you really want to be doing. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't play around with this because I think it worked. But, um... So after you have good intentions, you know this is really what you want to do. You got the person in mind. You really gotta visualize. Like when I was when I was talking about the Mama Mia's things, I visualized everything, every detail. I, I knew what I was gonna eat. I knew what I was gonna drink. I knew who I was going with. And that, cause that's important. Like I knew I was gonna go with Steve. I knew I was gonna bring Steve something. That and that, that make me think like if I would've thought about this in my head with somebody else like my mom or a different a family member or a girl would, would Steve still have text me or would that other person have text me you know what I'm saying so that's why you gotta make sure this is the person that you want it to be and you visualize and all of this stuff like when I'm talking about this girl the second girl second experience I told you about um, like I really she don't live nowhere close to me but I really like in my head i went to her crib i went to her house i saw her in her bed i saw her grab her phone i saw her text you know what i'm saying i saw her i saw her do this like i was really there with her i visualized everything and then the next day she hit me up so and the same thing with the with the third girl i know where this girl lives she lives she lives in milwaukee and I, I, in my head i went to her place went up her elevator um and then I went to her room. And I saw everything, you know what I'm saying? I saw her texting me. I saw everything that we was gonna do. You know what I'm saying? But we didn't do that. Okay. So, but um, you just gotta visualize. Visualize this is what you're gonna do. You have to really have detailed visualizations about what's gonna happen. And I think, um, and then just let it go. <laughs> let that shit go. Um, my bad, can, can we cuss on this channel? I don't know who I'm talking to because it's just me on here. But anyways, like, that's what you got to do. Those are the few steps that I learned. And you really just got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's almost like meditating when you do it in this thing. You really got to close your eyes and get and like, clear all your thoughts. And just really, like, visualize exactly what's going to happen. And then hopefully, you know, things like that will happen. I don't know if you could do this to anybody. But I think it should be somebody that you're close to. So I want y'all to try these things and let me know what happened down in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I think this is going to work. You know what I'm saying? It's going to work for some people, you know? So also, if y'all trying to follow me on my crazy baby 420 page, don't do that. Cause you know, I'm not accepting no more people over there. I barely post on that page. I might even take my pictures and post down. I, I'm gonna keep them up for a little while because eventually I want people to see where I came from and see where I'm at now because you know I've been on a long journey if you know me and know what I used to do and what I used to be on you would probably be surprised about the things that I'm doing right now and I'll tell that story a little later about my change and my spiritual awakening I'm just not ready to talk about that right now but I definitely will but don't follow me there follow me at crazy underscore talk crazy talk you feel me and you know what i'm saying if you got any questions you can leave them in the comments or you can hit me up in the dm i'm gonna, I'm gonna be answering any kind of questions y'all got i'm gonna make videos about the stuff i'm going through you know what i'm saying the spiritual awakening stuff technology stuff i still got the video about the oculus coming up coming up in the metaverse and a lot of things about you know just 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 this type of stuff if any of these type of things resonate with you like my channel like my video subscribe to my channel 
follow me on Instagram, and take care of yourself. It's a cool.